Afternoon guys, quarter past one on Saturday afternoon, Storm Dennis outside thinks he's at a rave, <laughs> it's blowing my furniture all over the garden. Right, today we're going to have a break from the Triumph uh, builds. What we've got today on the bench is a Harley tank for a mate of mine, Big Al. He's got a uh, 48 Sportster, Harley Sportster. But he can only get 45 to 50 miles out of that tank. It's one of them peanut tanks. So what he's done is he's bought a four or five gallon Harley tank from the States. It's in raw steel. And today what I'm going to be doing is cleaning it all down, degreasing it, uh, sanding it all down uh, with um, 120, 180, 240 and finally 400 to get it nice and smooth, get the steel all polished up and get it really nice and clean and then what we're going to do down the centre because this is actually two tanks that have been welded together so there's a, an ugly seam, I'll show it you in a sec there's an ugly lump and a seam down the centre of the tank this is going to be painted black the the Harley black so what I'm going to do is I'm going to float some lead on the top just on the top, that's only where it needs it, it only needs a bit just a bit of lead, I'm going to float some lead, lead load it sand it all down and then I'm going to get a fine skim of filler on it just to get it ready for the painter so I can take it down to him in the week and he can get it in primer which will stop obviously the surface rust coming back this is what I use for very very fine work when it wants to have a, a skim over it's called dolphin glaze you get a, you get a hardener with it it's it's very liquidy it's like um, the consistency of solid cream so when you squirt it out and you mix it up it's it's really runny it doesn't run but you know um, so in part it'll have a flick over with that there is some bit of a bad weld underneath which I'm going to grind down a little bit just to uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer when it's painted uh, Al said for me to leave it, he ain't that fussed about it but I think it looks bloody horrible so I'll, I'll give you a quick look so basically that's the tank I don't know if you can see that down the centre I've put the straight line across it right down there right down the middle probably from about there to there is where it needs lead so it'll be like that area there that I'll float some lead in um, there's no dents in it it's, it's quite a good tank can't see any dents a few surface scratches but we'll take care of them bit of surface rust on there which will clean up and then we'll give everything a degrease this is the weld what is on about underneath the bottom in the tunnel there all the way down there uh, it is it is prominent and raised and there's a there's a couple of bad welds there obviously I've taped everything up that's where the fuel the fuel pump goes there and the petcock that's the return uh, air valve there that's the return valve I've taped them up just so I don't get any shit inside and we'll just give everything a good clean um, just down there as well I might just grind that back a little bit so okay so what I'll do I, I ain't gonna bore you and uh, let you sit through two hours of that so um, what I'll do is I'll get it all cleaned down do a shot of it once it's cleaned this is more for Al's benefit than you guys just so Al can see the process what I'm doing for him you doddery old bastard yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a lovely tank really nice but we just got to take care of a few things get it all nice and get it nice and clean first get it degreased what I use to degrease bare steel metal um, I just use paint thinner right cellulose paint thinner 
so I'll give it everything a wipe over with that wear gloves because you don't want to get your finger grease on it um, just paint thinner and then once I've done that I'll just go over it again with some nail varnish remover which is virtually like panel wipe okay because it evaporates so we'll give it all a, a blast over with that get the steel nice and clean so it'll accept the, the lead I'll key you into the the lead loading process you've seen it before on my other video so I'll only do a you know a couple of seconds on that just how to tin it clean it and apply the lead and then we'll start floating it out and push it about and, and get it roughly where we want it and then it's just a case of knocking it all back and following the contours of the tank all right then so I'm gonna crack on with that then as I say it's about 20 past one now so uh, Saturday afternoon so hopefully by the end of today I'll have it looking something like for him all right so I'll check in with you later when it's all prepped and ready all right cheers guys <laughs> Right guys, it's 10 to 2, so just over, what, 30 minutes, half the tank's done, up to there, I've just got to finish that side now, so that's all clean. This is the most important part of the process, you must get the steel spotlessly clean. Now obviously now that I've cleaned it down just, just with a wire brush, to get all the surface crap off it, I'll rub it down. Uh, with some 120 which will key that area ready to accept the lead and the tinning um, so yeah it's it's starting to come up nice so, I've got all that rust off it surface rust I've got another tunnel can't get in with this wire brush so I'll have to swap over to a round one so I can get inside the tunnel and just finish the tunnel. Um, that, ain't, that ain't critical the tunnel side of it but you know if we go into all this trouble we might as well do it right and you know get the tank as nice looking as nice as we can even on the bits that you can't see it's worth doing it. Right so I'm gonna crack on with this and have another 20 minutes and clean the other side and then I'll come back to you and you can have a quick look at the, the lead loading process we rid of the lead loading. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Alright guys, three o'clock now, so that's just under two hours and the tank is finally clean. It's absolutely spotless now. I've gone over every single inch of the tank now. There's no trace of surface rust at all. So now I'm going to get set up for the lead loading on top, give it a, a clean down, a degrease first and then we'll, uh, we'll start throwing some lead. So I'll move the camera, move it down so you can see what I'm doing. There's another video I've, I've done of lead loading so you know, I ain't going to bore you with a long process but I'll speed it up anyway so you can see the process of applying the lead, what you do, this, that and the other. Um, so yeah, let's start throwing some lead. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay boy, guys, right we're back ready to start doing the uh, the lead loading. I've got my tank, well I've got the tank on a uh, jack so I can get it level, roughly level, because obviously you don't want it running all over the place going you know making a mess so just level it as best you can I've just got a little engineer's level um, things you need obviously you'll need heat so you want a, a gas bottle blow torch uh, you'll need a tub of tinning and a brush you'll obviously need some lead okay when you bite it's a bit dirty so just give it a scuff up 
with a wire brush or something just to get the surface clean like that. Okay, you'll need some form of wooden spatula so you can push the lead about like that, spread it out and smooth it off. I've just made that out of an old paintbrush and you'll need a clean cloth, clean rag um, for the tinning part. Now what you do is you, you heat up the tank a little bit just to get it warm. You apply the tinning where you can go, always go a bit bigger than where you want the lead. Right. When the tinning starts to melt it'll turn brown. At that point you give it a wipe. Just one wipe. Okay, don't go over it and keep going because the idea is when it burns you want to get off that burnt surface. So you want it to stick to the rag. You don't want to push it into the into the tinning because it will get under the surface of the lead and it will blow through your paint. So when you apply the tinning and you and it starts to melt and you'll see it, it'll start to shine. You just give it one wipe like that, turn your cloth over for the next pass, give it a wipe and so on and so on. Just keep folding your rag until you're you know saturated and then just throw the rag away. Don't reuse it for God's sake because you'll get shit underneath your paintwork and everything. Now because we're using lead and obviously it gives off fumes, I've got the door open. And so this is basically all you do. So a couple of minutes, ju just watch what I do and then uh, I'll crack on with it. So you don't want your flame too hot. You only want to warm the steel. You'll see. You'll see it sort of change colour. We'll just see where it's pretty much all the way around here. So just warm your metal up a little bit. Like that. And get your tinning paste. Brush your tinning on. So that is where all the high spot is, right. and then then you heat up the tinny, and you'll see the tinny turn a different colour, and you'll, you'll see it start to bubble. Just keep moving it, just move it about. Right, you can start to see it bubble now. And it will dry, and you'll see a dry patch. And you'll start to see brownie. Oops. Don't set fire to your tank. So, do you an area. Once it starts to brown, that's when you wipe it off. Can you see it now? How it's gone nice and crow? That's what you want to get off. You don't want to leave that underneath. Right? So I've got a little bit of a clean area on there so I can reuse this side. So just melt it and wipe it. That's all you do. Now turn your cloth over and do the same on this side. It'll dry. little bit more on there. Invariably when you wipe it off you're going to wipe some of the paste off when you do your, your wipe, but you can always put a bit more back on. 
where you need it. And then just heat it up again, just to remelt it. And just give it a pass like that. Right. Just going to turn my cloth round. So that's all for the tank. Started with a clean side now. And same again. This tinning process is critical to get the lead to stick. Because if it isn't shiny like this, the lead won't stick. Once again, turn the cloth over. Turn my cloth for the final pass now. Just use an old t-shirt for this. You don't want the tea towel because I'm textured. You just want something nice and smooth. That's how you tin a tank. Okay, so that is ready now for the lead. So I only want the lead down the centre, either side of this high spot, either side of the rib. So, what I normally like to do before I do that is just get, just get a wire brush or you can use a scotch bright and just give the tinning a little bit of a a buff over just to key it, it don't hurt anything but it also gets rid of any muck so just give it a little key like that right and that is now ready for lead so again same process as before you heat the tank, you heat the lead. Um, I'm not going to drip this one, I'm just going to uh, do it in bits and then we'll push it about. Just take it in turns, heating up the tank, heating up the, the lead. And 
And this is where your paddle comes in now, because now you get to start pushing it about. You don't want to heat, heat it up to the point that it's melting, you just want to heat it up enough so you can push it about. If it does start to melt and go watery, just take, take the heat off. Like smooth and cake. The benefits of using this lead technique as opposed to using body filler is that obviously gas tanks expand and contract in the summer months um, and body filler could crack and obviously you don't want that to happen when you've gone to all this trouble So I'll push it about if you've got too much in one area. Just let it cool off a bit and then just drag it into another area. That's a good thing with this, you can you can re-wet it. Sorry, re-eat it. So it becomes wet. And just move it about wherever you need. Right now, for me, that's plenty on that now. Okay. So now it's just a case, letting it cool down so it's room temperature. Um, I usually go at it with a foil first. So I just use a normal flat foil first and I sort of just take off the high spots. You'll see them once you start rubbing it, you'll see where it goes shiny. Just start and knock them off. Right, and then I'll gradually start and flatten it out so it follows this flat contour. I'll check it every now and again, just with a, a square, just to make sure, you know, if we're high enough. If there's any low spots, you just repeat the process. 
you just put a little bit more lead in the low parts and then then after that it's it's a gradual process of 80 120 180 240 360 400 grit wet and dry um, and just keep building it up and then you'll get it to the stage where it'll accept a little bit of body filler we don't want to flood this with body filler I only want to use a dolphin glaze because um, I want a nice thin coat over the tank there are a lot of surface scratches it's been sat around for 12 or 18 months so it's, it's in really good condition considering that it's been stored and stuck in a box for, for so long but um, that's the process okay so I'm going to crack on with this now let it cool down have a fag have a cup of tea um, and then I'll start and knock it down and I'll show you the end result once it's all flattened over instead of boring you with you know uh, the, the full process okay so I'll, I'll I'll see you in about two hours <laughs> cheers guys hi guys 20 past five and the tank's been lead loaded it's been uh, sanded down block sanded down so it was relatively true to the shape of what the tank should have been or what it will be I've given it um, a coat of dolphin glaze now quite a heavy coat so I'm going to let that sit up for probably about half hour and then I'll come in start block sanding it over to get that all nice and smooth and then what I'll do is once that's at the point where I want it I'll go round the tank and because there's scratches and little uh, like, oh, I don't know what you call them raised areas so I shouldn't have to dolly them back down tap them down they they should be able to fill hopefully so I'm gonna let that set up now like I say for about half hour and then I'll come in and eat it but yeah it's looking good I mean if I'll just show you and just zoom in a just zoom in a little bit so you can see it's actually looking quite good at the moment so I've got the I've got the contour that I want. Obviously all that low part down the centre has been lead loaded out to about there and blended in. Um, you never get it perfectly flat with the lead. You always end up with a couple of little low spots. But as long as you don't get any high spots you're fine, you can work with that. It's when you get it's when you get high spots that you uh, that you struggle because you end up um, blowing through it. So, okay, like I say, I'm I'm gonna crack on now and just give that half hour, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's been block sanded. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Right, evening, guys. It's half past nine on Saturday evening. Long bloody day, but uh, got the tank to the stage now where I'm, I'm happy with it um, lead loading it's had some a thin coat of filler on it and then a thin coat of dolphin glaze on it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give the whole tank a very very thin coat of dolphin glaze and let it cure it overnight and then tomorrow I'll hit the lot all over um, just to get it ultra smooth and then I'll take it down to the painters he can put a primer on it and and then a guide coat and then I can block it back with a guide and then I can see if there's anywhere that needs attention and just put a little bit more dolphin glaze on top and then reprime it, block it again it's a long process with black, uh, with black. more involved than it is with the, with the white tank that I'm having done even though the white one on the Triumph is virtually cock on, I mean it's 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 there. Um, but obviously with black it shows everything. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I've got it up on the stands now. Just use a couple of bolts. Um, I don't know if you can if you can see, and I'll show you. Uh, just bear with me a sec. 
I'm going to have to disconnect the camera, ain't I? Hang on. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so you can see the tank now. If you look carefully there and just up on here, I've had the foil on that bit there. Because there's like, I don't know, not creases, but like, I don't know, just raised areas and low areas raised out. So I've gone at that with a foil just to get it in here. Just there. So I've foiled that off. There was a couple of little dots of weld, I presume it, you know, splashes that I've had to foil those back as well. But uh, no, it looks really good. It's got rid of that crease down the centre. It has. So I'm going to give it a wipe over now and then give it a coat of dolphin glaze and then call it a night. As I say, it's half past night now. So. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we'll get that done and then call it a night, I think. So that's it for tonight. Okay, I'll so I'll upload. I'll upload this video. Get it on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, um, and then you can just have a look at it and you'll see the progress for today. And then I should crack on with it again tomorrow. Okay then, cheers. I'll speak to you later. Ta-da.